Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at playing Grand Theft Auto 4 on Windows 10. Um, I've already installed the game on here and done the first run on it uh, in through the Steam launcher. So it's installed the prerequisites, it's installed Rockstar Social Club. I'm going to say play offline, and what we'll see is if we look at the logo here, this shows we are in game when it's green. It's now changed back to blue to say that the game has quit. So obviously we're not seeing GTA on screen, therefore the game has failed to launch correctly. Um, the reason for this is the Games for Windows client that is bundled with Grand Theft Auto 4 with Steam does not work in Windows 8 or Windows 10. So what we need to do is download this client. Uh, this is from the xbox.com website. I'll include a link below in the description for how to download this. And by installing this client, and then if we launch it, I'll do my login rather than... There we go. I've already actually had this on here before, so we're going to tell that to log in and sign in automatically. So now, when we reload the game, again, Social Club will come up. And this time, rather than quitting out, the game will load. Now this isn't the only issue that I had with uh, GTA. What we will also find is that the game won't actually have the correct graphics options available to us, um, basically because um, it's looking at the Intel graphics, not the Nvidia graphics, which we are going to be playing the game on. Uh, so it's seeing a small amount of graphics memory, not the 6 gigabytes that our graphics card actually has. So here we can see we're running 800 by 600, low detail, and not very good uh, settings down here either. Actually, I think we're at a higher resolution currently, but if we are to try and change it, it will keep us at 800 by 600. So if we quit out, and what we have here is a selection of uh, command line options that we need to add to GTA 4. So we have no restrictions, no memory restrictions, and available mid video memory, which I'm going to set to 2GB. So these override the settings for the game. So if we right click it, say properties, set launch options, paste those in there. So again, no restrictions, dash no mem restrict, dash available vid mem 2048.0. It is important you put that decimal place in there. Apparently you must have that. So now, if we relaunch the game, and again, now the um, available vid memory, memory override was um, because I was finding the game was never actually loading. This says the application is already running. Um, so the game would never actually load. By adding this command line in, it just gets around that problem and allows the game to load correctly. So now, once we have gone through these loading screens... We'll set everything to high. If we apply this, you can see now the settings have applied and the game should load correctly. And now we should see the intro loading up. 
and there we go so if we skip through this and there we go Grand Theft Auto 4 running on Windows 10 on an Nvidia Optimus equipped laptop I hope you found this video useful and um, be sure to check out the other content on our channel for more videos looking at various games running on Windows 10 uh, for compatibility assistance and if you like what we do and would like to stay in touch be sure to hit the subscribe button to see more from our channel. Thanks for watching.